This is a disaster. Now that's better. Let me show you how I got there. Stage one, cleaning up this mess back here. It's a lot of cleaning. The cleanup continues. Day two. It's definitely coming along. The cleanup, I knew the cleanup was gonna be the hardest part, but I've gotta get stage one, the cleanup done, before I do stage two. And I've gotta do stage two before I do stage three. And stage three is happening in like seven days. It's scheduled, it, there is an appointment, there is somebody coming by for stage three that they have to do it for me. I need to get all this stuff ready, so I'm kinda under the gun. I need to get this done. Hey, that rhymes. What do you think, Jax? Am I a poet and I don't know it? That right there is going to be a huge help in the organization of the brewery. I think I'm done for the day. So, you know what that means. It's time for a beer. That's better. So stage two is gonna be moving this giant chalkboard from here in my office to here in my garage. And just like that, stage two is complete. So stage number three, I've actually been waiting for quite a few weeks for. It involved an electrician coming and hooking up some extra outlets for me so that I can move some things around and I'm not like overloaded on this one circuit in the garage. And as you can see, one of those is right there. Let me show you where I got them put. One here for the canner. One here for the TV. And kegerator. One back over here for the new can fridge and my fermentation chamber. One way up there. One down there for oh, whatever I need it for for brew day. You can see there's one up there that isn't quite finished yet. That's gonna be for some extra lighting for the garage for maybe some studio lights. And that one right there that 240 volt hookup. I've been thinking about it for a long time and the time finally came. I think it's just time for me to make a slight upgrade. I'm calling stage four, some assembly required. has been taking so long, I forget whether I'm on stage four or stage five. Either way, the next stage isn't even happening in the garage because actually the garage 
is pretty much done. This next part is happening outside. So let's go take a look. Oh, hi, Jax. So we've got a tankless water heater out here. And I don't know if you know, but on tankless water heaters, they've got an extra hookup for hot and cold water, which basically I have hot water and cold water on demand out here. So I was just running hoses out here, but I was like, why don't I just hook up a sink? So I got a little splitter valve. I have run a couple hoses over to my sink. I've also still got my regular garden hose, which has quick disconnects for chillers and all that stuff. Uh, and then that way I can still like hose out the garage and all that stuff. Huge upgrade, huge upgrade. And it's right There's my brew system, there's my sink. Brew system, sink. Every brewery needs a sink. The other addition to the brewery out here was this 80 can can fridge. It was sent to me by Califort. They were actually kind enough to give a discount code to any, any viewers that purchased this can fridge. It's really nice. It's got room for 80 cans. It has different light settings in there. Uh, but because it's a little early in the morning and it's a brew day, I'm still mashing. I don't think I'm ready for a beer yet, so I'm going to rehydrate. It's actually really good. There's a couple other things that I would like to put in here, but for now, it's functional. It works great. It's actually running, things are running a lot smoother now that I've got all my equipment out here in one spot and I really like the way it turned out. But I do have a couple ideas for things I would like to add out here. Let me know in the comments. What would you add to this space? As you can see, I've got a brew day going on already. I'm brewing up. Sorry about that, technical difficulties. If you wanna see how my first brew day went on my new system, go check this video out right here next. I'm sure you'll like it. In the meantime, cheers. See you there.